All right guys, what's going on? Back with another video, and we're in the Mini. Uh, long story short, I can't afford to insure any other car except my Mini. Not because I've had an accident or anything like that, but to have a car in my name, with no black box, the only car I can afford to insure is this one. Uh, I really don't want to have to get rid of the Subaru. I was getting rid of the Golf anyway. Really didn't want to have to get rid of the Subaru, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Uh, so I've put it up for sale, already accepted a deposit on it, so that one's ready to ready to go. Uh, so that means we're back in the Mini, which is not the worst thing in the world to be honest. I've been driving this around for under a week now, really enjoying it already. I've done a few more little mods to it since I've got back in it, just because I can't help myself. So I'll show you around that and then I'll show you my new mod, which hopefully should be fitting today, or at least working on this week. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So, I did used to have the uh, black headlight surrounds on but I've swapped them back out to the chrome just because I saw cars like this one that I'm about to put on the screen on the internet and I just thought they look really cool and I want to make mine look like that so I've done that I put the chrome headlights back on uh, took it for an MOT passed first time one advisory so that's all sorted uh, let me just show you inside as well the other mod I've done which I'm super super happy about Alcantara dash I'll put in a photo of what it looks like before uh, it's hard to tell in photos how like good this looks, but I'm super happy with it. It makes it feel like a Porsche in here. Uh, and then I, I, in the last video I did on the Mini, I took off all the red buttons, uh, but I've decided to put one red button back on for the traction control, just because I thought that was quite cool. But other than that, I haven't done anything to it yet. Uh, but today, I've got something big for it. So, these wheels... I really, really liked them when I first bought the car, but I've sort of gone off them since because I kind of want a black wheel. Uh, and just before I stopped driving the car, I did this. So, like, it needs to be fixed anyway. Oh no, there's the worst part. Fucking hell. <laughs> but yeah, it needs to, it needs to be fixed anyway. And I kind of just thought I want new wheels, uh, and I've got some really special wheels. They're in the garage. I'm going to go show you them now. Guys, okay, so these are the new wheels. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who know, uh, for the R53 Mini, which is the generation I had, they did a limited edition of uh, 2000, num 2000 car, which is called the GP1. So it had like no rear seats, a spoiler on it, a uh, supercharger reduced, 11% reduced pulley, so it gave it about 211 horsepower, I think. Uh, they only made 2000 worldwide. I think there's only 250 of them in the UK, uh, and it's like the top, top spec Mini. I, I would love one but they go for anywhere between 15 and 25,000 pounds, so definitely not. When you consider the R53 Cooper S, which is what I've got, you can get for like two to four, then it's like you'd never buy one. Uh, but these are the wheels that came on that car. I'll put in a photo of what they look like on the GP1s, uh, and they look awesome. I don't think these are real GP1 wheels, because I can't see Mini stamped anywhere on the back of it, other than the center caps, but that doesn't mean that this is a proper mini wheel, but that's fine. Uh, for the money I paid for these, uh, it's ridiculous, the deal I got. They were only in Warsaw, which is like half an hour from me, so I had to go pick them up last night. Uh, and to even sweeten the deal, boom, Toyo, <laughs> Toyo Proxies R888R tires, so proper track tires. It's gonna be insane when I get to put these on the car. The reason they're not on the car already is two reasons, one, this is, the, this is the nicest of the alloys. They're all completely destroyed, like ruined. There's no buckles or cracks or anything like that, but the uh, lap appeal on the diamond cut finish is completely ruined on all of the wheels. Uh, all of them need a refurb. Uh, and to, I don't know if you guys know, diamond, to di re diamond cut to these kind of wheels, to refurb a set normally costs three to 400 pounds, which is just too much for me. So my plan's this. Right, clever. Uh, instead of having it diamond cutted, what I'm going to do is have the whole wheel powder coated, but all of these metal surfaces here, I'll have them powder coated silver and the rest of it black. So it'll look exactly like this, but because it won't be diamond cut anymore and powder coated, it'll last a lot longer. It'll just be not as quite shiny because it's not actual exposed metal, but that's fine. So that's, you know, I can get that sorted next month when I've got the money. The only other thing I'm worried about is because, because I think they're replica wheels, so not genuine wheels, which to be honest, it's never really a good idea to buy replica wheels. I've never had replica wheels, I've only ever had real wheels, but for the money I just thought I wanted to see what happens. But 
they weigh a ton, so they're, they're really, really heavy. Uh, I don't know if I just think they're so heavy because the last wheels I was dealing with were the ones on my Golf, which were uh, OZ Ultra Ligueras, which are really lightweight wheels, so I don't know if that's why I think they're heavy. But what I'm going to do is quickly take the wheel off my Mini and weigh them both. Uh, if these weigh too much, I won't put them on, just because like if this is if this weighs 10 kg more than the standard one, not only does that mean I'm having 40 kg to the car total, but this is uh, what they call unsprung weight, so it's weight of the car that can't be controlled by the suspension. Any any sort of weight that rotates and anything to do with the wheels is weight that can't be controlled by the suspension. So it's the most like it's the worst place to add weight. Basically, lightweight wheels makes a really big difference to how fast the car is. Uh, and I think it's to do, it's like the same with lightweight flywheels. If you have a light flywheel, it's less like force for the engine to overcome to engage power or something like that. So, but yeah, you should never put heavy wheels on your car. Probably never should put rep wheels, but they have got track tires. So, uh, but I've got, to, I've got to take the old wheel off and weigh it. And then these won't be going on the car probably for another couple of weeks anyway, because they are in dire need of a refurb. I mean, I'll show you one of the worse ones. Cause that's one of the good ones. But, uh... So this is one of the bad ones. And it is like, no way I'm putting that on the car. Do you know what I mean? Like they're completely ruined, sort of like in terms of the diamond cup finish, but everything else is fine. All these white spots just come off with, with your finger. They're just sort of like polish and stuff, but they're, uh, they're wicked. I really, really like them. So I'm gonna, if I have time, I'll take the uh, wheel off the mini this morning and weigh it. All right guys, so it's the evening time now, as you guys can uh, probably tell. Didn't have a chance to do it before work, but I'm gonna get on doing it now. It's got one of the, uh, the new alloys there. It looks so, even just like having it near the car, it looks so much better than what's on there, so I hope they're not too heavy. Uh, around the corner on a flat bit of ground, I've got my scale, so I'm just gonna quickly take this wheel off. I reckon, I reckon these ones are gonna be heavier. I hope just not by too much. I reckon probably, I reckon they're about five kg heavier, but I hope they're not. But anyway, we'll get it off and then we can find out for sure. Oh, actually, we might be in. We might be right. That's actually quite, uh, quite heavy. I forgot how heavy these are. So hopefully we're right. I'm just gonna go grab the scale now, and we'll uh, do it. I forgot how heavy that was actually, because the the last wheel I took off a car was on my Golf and my Subaru, and they were both uh, ultra like uh, OZ Racing lightweight wheels. So I forgot how heavy these were actually. So we'll go around there and see. Fingers crossed. Just thought I'd do a quick test fit, and I'm in love with them. I like them so much, they look wicked. I mean, just a comparison between the front and the back, that's gonna look awesome. All right, so, got both the wheels. Moment of truth, scales in front of me. I'm gonna do the original alloy first, so we'll get a base of how much it weighs now, and then see how much weight we're adding or losing, but I think, I still think the new one's a bit, they will be heavier because obviously they're bigger rims anyway, so they will be a bit heavier, but just not too much, hopefully. So, standard alloy with tyre. 18.7. So 18.7. So as long as this new one is not like like 10 kg heavier or something like that, we can put it on. So 18.7 is what my standard ones weigh. And the new ones... I mean, they just look sick, don't they? Alright, the new ones, come on. Don't be too much more. Just stand on it to get it to turn on. Come on, then, let's see what these bad boys weigh. With tyres. No way! 17.5! No way! They're actually lighter! I thought they were heavier. What? I forgot how much the factory alloys weigh. These alloys, which are bigger, are bigger tyres, because that is a 205 tyre. This is 205. 45 I think hold on yeah 205 45 on this and this is 215 35 uh, With like I said look at the difference in tire. So that's your regular road tire right there, and that's your track tire uh, They're lighter. That's awesome. I can't wait to put them on the car. I mean if they weren't like ugh, If they weren't such bad condition, I'd put them on the car today right now, but they're too bad So I'm gonna have to get them refurbished, but that's brilliant also, another little update uh, before I forget. The Subaru is gone now, uh, sold today. The new owner is really, really happy with it, which is brilliant. 
Uh, it's a shame I couldn't have the car for longer, but you never know. I might have an STI one day, so I might even have a bit better. I kept the key ring off it, so next time, next Subaru I get, I can put it on that. So, but yeah, the uh, the Mini's gonna at least the upside is the Mini's gonna get a lot more attention. All my money can go into that one. Uh, yeah, so make this Mini the nicest R53 you've ever seen. All right, guys. So it's the next day now. Mini's in the background. Wheels are here. Uh, I've called some companies about having them redone uh, and it's going to cost a lot more than I thought. So, my original plan was, I thought it'd be cheaper to instead of having this re-diamond cut, to have the silver, the diamond cut parts powder coated silver. Uh, but for all four wheels that's going to cost uh, a thou uh, 500 quid. Uh, to have the diamond cut, um, it's going to be £114 per wheel. And then if I wanted to have them just powder coated all black, just like one singular colour, it'd be 280 quid including that uh, so either way I'm looking at a couple hundred pounds which I was I was sort of hoping it'd be just about 200 quid to have them done but it looks like it's going to be a bit more so my my plan my game plan is I'm going to start with this wheel this wheel is like the least like fucked up one so I'm going to start with this one all the bits where the lacquer is gone I'm going to try sand that down back down to fair metal so there's no lacquer there and I've got some clear lacquer spray and I'm going to try redo it uh, it's not. It's worth a try because I have nothing to lose either way. I'm gonna have to get them redone. I mean, the, out of those options I just discussed, the the one I'd be doing was just having them all done black. It looks okay, but uh, I'd prefer to have it with the silver if I could. So I'm gonna try do that uh, now. And see how it goes. So, yeah. So this is what they look like. It's uh, what happens is the water gets under the clear lacquer and then makes it go this sort of funny patch. Uh, and that's what this wheel here used to look like. Where we see, can you see the patch where I've sanded all of that clear coat away? So now we've got this patch. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to sand the rest of it out with finer grit sandpapers and blend it out, and then I can just put a clear over the top and it'll be good. I'm hoping that I don't have to remove the lacquer on the whole rim and all the faces, but if I have to, then I have to. I was hand sanding for a while, and then I got out my Dremel, which makes it so much faster. But what I'm going to do is just uh, get, because there's only a few more spots on this wheel. It's hard to actually film how bad they look, to be honest. You know, like there, 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 and then there as well. And that's what they, that's what they look like. So I'll see if I can get the rest of it off this wheel and just focus on this wheel today. There's a few bits of black missing. So I think what I'm going to try to do, basically, is prefer them myself. Uh, so we'll carry on. Right, so I've removed all the areas where the lacquer was uh, all corroded and stuff on these wheels now. Uh, but I've run into another bit of a problem where now you can see the difference between the lacquer and no lacquer uh, through the gradient right there. So I think what I'm going to have to do now is probably just take all of the clear cut off the whole wheel. So hopefully it's not too much of a, too much of a pain. But what I'm going to do is take all the clear coat off, wipe it down, mask it all up. And then uh, I've got some uh, alloy wheel clear coat paints. It was £12.50 for two cans. I got to quite good reviews. Uh, they're not supposed to come until Monday. Today's Friday. So I'm just going to do the one wheel for now though. Because if, it, if, it, if, it, if I do this one and it turns out rubbish, then I've wasted my time. So but I'm going to go ahead and finish this off now. Remember what I said a minute ago about it uh, being easier than I thought? So just to get the section from there to there, back to bare metal, use three out of my ten discs. Uh, and it's just taking too long. Like I've spent 20 minutes on this section right here. And it's only that portion that I've got to bare metal. The rest of it is just scuffed. Uh, if you were repainting these, like if I was just to paint this silver, something like this finish where it's just like scuffed up, that'd be completely fine. I can just spray silver over it. But if I want them back to bare metal, it's going to take a lot longer. So I'm tempted to just, with this first one, paint the the bare metal bit silver and see how it looks. So I think I might just do that because it's taking so long to get it back to bare metal. I haven't got the equipment to do it. But if I just want to paint them silver, I can just go over the top of it. I don't know. It's going to take me so long to mask it up as well. Fucking hell. No wonder they're charging me so much money. Leaving me in there. Fucking nightmare. Alright, so the next day, uh, I what I did last night was I sanded the wheels with like a 60 grit, then again wet sanded them with like a 400 grit, so it's like relatively smooth finish. Uh, and now, well I washed them after that as well, and now I'm just going to mask off all of the black bits. So anything 
it's like black like this and I'm going to mask it off so it looks like that and it's so hard because you can't it's hard to get like a really nice like line I'm not sure how well it's going to turn out but we're going to try it see how it goes it's probably taken me an hour so far to get it sort of like 40-50% done so it's going to take ages to do them all but yeah, it's a lot cheaper than paying £114 a wheel so oh my days was this the most boring and fucking just shit job I've done car related in my life no, I've painted, I've spray painted alloy wheels before, but normally all I've got to do is mask up the edge and then the valve cover cap and it's done and you just spray them because you're spraying in one colour, but when you're doing like two different colours, I've had to mask off the entire wheel apart from the uh, the silver bits and it's so hard to get into all these little gaps and edges. Uh, full disclosure, I'm expecting this to turn out shit, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with primer now, I can't make it any worse than it was, so... I'm going to spray it with a primer now and see how it looks like. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> but we'll just see how it turns out. Okay. At least I won't use much paint because I'm only doing a small part of the wheel. So that's what it's looking like after the first coat of primer. Uh, don't be fooled. It looks okay now, but it may look shit once I take the masking tape off. That's the only way to know. So I've done I've done one coat of primer. I'm going to do another. Got to go pick up the silver from Halfords today, along with a bit more masking tape, and then I'm going to go do get the clear. Probably won't come till Monday. Do the clear, and then we'll see what it looks like. All right. So color is on both coats. So it's just ready for clear. I'm actually really liking the way it looks with the silver. I, I think if uh, if everything goes tits up, you know, and I've got to get them done either professionally in one colour or do them myself in one colour, I might just do them in silver rather than black. But that's what they're looking like now. It doesn't look as good on camera as it does uh, in person, but it actually looks quite nice. So silver's all on. Just got to do the uh, the colour the, the clear coat now. Sorry, I'm going to do three clo coats, two light ones and a heavy one. I had to redo my uh, paper because it kept falling off, but uh, yeah, just waiting for that to dry. Alright guys, so the first wheel is done, took off all the masking tape, uh, and the results, to be honest with you, as expected. They look way better than they did when I first got them, loads better. And from, you know, like a foot away, a metre away, they look alright. Uh, so as soon as you get up close, you notice, like I said, the lines, the curves aren't quite proper, like, as they should be, but I'll show you the results anyway. So on the right we've got what it looked like before, and on the left we've got it look, look what it looks like now. So obviously this is what they looked like before. And this is what they look like now. On video they don't look too bad, but then when you get close you can see, like it's hard to tell, but you can see the lines quite aren't quite right. Do you know what I mean? Because it's hard to mask up a curve. Uh, other than that though, like from this distance, I mean it's hard to tell the difference, but... They look br they look uh, wicked. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Uh, I've only done one wheel. Got the other three to do now. Uh, so I'm going to get on and do that myself. And then in the next video, I'll put them on the car, get it all aligned and whatnot, and then I'll show you what they look like. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.